In the last presentation, we completed octal to binary encoder, and in this presentation, we will study decimal to BCD encoder. Uh, so I think that you all know what is decimal and also what is BCD. Decimal number system has 10 digit uh, from 0 to 9. Its base or radix is 10. The highest digit of the decimal number system is 9. And if you convert this into binary number, you will get 1001. That's mean 9 is represented in 4 bits. So all the number less than 9 are also to be represented in 4 bits. Look, 0 is represented as 0000, 0, 0, 0. 1 is represented as 0001 0, 0, 1, and so on. So all this 4 bit representation of the decimal numbers from 0 to 9 are called BCD. So BCD stands for binary coded decimal. That's mean you have coded each and every decimal to its binary form and all they are 4 bits in length. So here you have to design an encoder circuit where each and every decimal digit will be converted to the corresponding BCD. This is your decimal to BCD encoder. So this encoder circuit has a 10 input. So just level all 10 inputs as I0, I1 to I9. And it has a four outputs, B0, B1, B2, and B3. As you have already know that for an encoder circuit, if there are n number of outputs, there will be two to the power n or less input bits. In this circuit, there are four outputs. So there will be 2 to the power 4, 16 or less input bits. So we do not require all 16 bits because the decimal number has only uh, 0 to 9 inputs. So we require only the first 10 inputs and ignore rest of the inputs. Now let's take an example, uh, 29 in decimal number, you have to convert it into BCD. So what you have to do, you have to convert each and every digit of the decimal number to the corresponding BCD. You have to keep it in your mind that you are not converting 29 in binary, you are converting it to BCD. That's why you have to convert each and every digit to the binary number individually. So uh, write 2 as 0010 and 9 will be written as 1001. You can verify in the truth table that 2 is written as 0010 and 9 is written as 1001. So this is the BCD of 29. Now let's derive the Boolean expression for the output B0, B1, B2, B3. For an encoder circuit, any one of the input will become high and for that high input you will get the corresponding binary combination of output. So let's start with the B3 output first. So in the truth table follow the B3 column only the last two rows are high. That's mean for input 8 and 9 B3 is becoming high. So what you will write B3 equal to I8 or I9. That's mean if any one of the input I8 or I9, since this is an input, so I'm writing it as I input. So if any one of the input 8 or 9 becomes high, B3 will become high. Now for the second uh, output B2, look in the B2 column. Uh, for input 4, 5, 6, and 7, B2 is I. So you have to write like this. B2 equal to I4 or I5 or I6 or I7. Now for B1, look at the two yellow boxes. So for the input 2, 3, 6 and 7, B1 is high. So just write like this, B1 equal to I2 or I3 or I6 or I7. And the last output B0, for the odd number of inputs, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, B0 is becoming 1. That's mean you have to write B0 equal to I1 or I3 or I5 or I7 or I9. So these are my four Boolean expression. Let's draw the logic diagram with this four Boolean expression. So first of all, you have to draw all the input lines from I0 to I9, just like this, from right to left. Now look at the first expression B3 equal to I8 or I9. That's when you have to draw a connection from I8 and I9. So it will be look like this. 
draw the connection from I8 and I9 and do an OR operation, you will get the B3 output. In the second expression, it is written I4 or I5, I6 or I7. So draw connection from I4, I5, I6 and I7. Now the next expression B1 equal to 2, 3, 6 and 7. So draw connection from 2, 3, 6 and 7. So it will look like this. Draw connection from 2, 3, 6 and 7. And do the OR operation, you will get B1. And for the last output B0, uh, draw connection from the odd number of inputs. So that's mean draw connection from I1, I3, I5, I7 and I9 and you will get B0 output. So this is the logic diagram of decimal to BCD encoder. Now you can check it with the truth table. Let's take 5 as example. Suppose the input I5 is high and there are two connections drawn from this line that is here and here. And so the B2 output and B0 output will become one and the other two output B3 and B1 will be in the zero state. Since these two OR get as a connection from I5 and I5 is high, so these two OR get will produce high output and the rest of the output B3 and B1 will remain in the zero state. So you will get 0, 1, 0, 1, which is the binary equivalent of 5 or you can say this is the BCD of 5, 0, 1, 0, 1. Subscribe to my channel Online Technical Mentor and press the bell icon for latest update. Thank you.